conspire to drive these animals to extinction. In drought. Dinosaurs like this Coelophysis can survive on very little water for killing. Or as small predators. But what makes them unique is special hips and ankles that allow defeats the wounded Placerius. The Placerius is now too weak to fight, and the Postosuchus has an easy meal. A jaw full of needle-sharp teeth makes short work of the insect. The only creature on the planet she fears is another Postosuchus. The female Coelophysis has picked up the scent of their bedding. Soon she is exploring the entrance. And she... <laughs> Clearly these dinosaurs have not met cynodonts before. An inquisitive youngster follows him to the end of the burrow. As the sun sets, the pair have only one choice. It means shattering their unique parental bond. They eat their own young. This denies the dinosaurs their food and gives the cynodonts the chance of escape. The dinosaur's unique serrated teeth will make short work of its protective cocoon. However, her mighty jaws could still tear a dinosaur apart. Carnivore's strength fails. Their long snouts and nibbling front teeth can reach under her thick scales. They eat her from the inside out. And without sufficient prey, the dinosaurs swiftly turn on each other. Cannibalism is common. A baby Coelophysis. It is time for them to hatch, but there are signs they have been discovered by an egg thief. The culprit is an Ornitholestes, a two meter long carnivore that is closely related to the dinosaurs that will evolve into birds. But two Allosaurus have also been drawn here. That night, a huge firestorm hits the area. Morning light reveals the bodies of forest-dwelling dinosaurs that have perished in the flames. The carnivore fixes on his unwary victim, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. This Eustreptospondylus is picking the last rotten strips of flesh off a dead turtle. But even... And although most have left for deeper waters, a few remain to take advantage of the plenty here. Their long, toothless snouts are streamlined weapons. It 
was not just these delicate boned Rampharynchus that were broken in the hundred mile an hour winds, disorientated in the murky waters, has ended up stranded on an island beach. While the giant is still alive, his enormous jaws are lethal. The carnivore's own 150 ton body is slowly suffocating him. The mightiest carnivore the world has ever seen is no more than a banquet. In life, he was the most magnificent beast ever to take to the wing. But soon he must face open water. Meanwhile, another conflict is looming. The giant turns bully. This is the first kill the pack have made for over a week. They will... But nature is seldom wasteful. They have become food for the next generation. Here there are polar dinosaurs, but even they struggle to stay alive. This also recycles the nutrients. It will remain long after them too, clinging on in the land that will become the islands of New Zealand. On the banks of the river, an old Mataburosaurus has been brought down and a male Allosaur feeds off the rotting flesh. There is another smell mixed in here. In one small valley, there is the stench of death. Eventually, his sheer size is his salvation. The Tyrannosaurus embryo inside the abandoned egg is already dead. A male Tyrannosaurus has brought down a young Triceratops. But female Tyrannosaurus are larger and more aggressive than the males, and he needs to court her with food to stop her attacking him on sight. The little Taurosaurus lost his fight with the predators. For the herd, it is a blow. Two. Once again, the predators make the water's edge a dangerous place. The mother delivers a slab of Anatta Titan meat. The blow has cracked the mother's femur and ruptured internal organs. She limps. By morning, she lies lifeless on the baking ash fields. The chicks stand expectantly by the colossal corpse of their mother. Next comes the blast front. But the Lielanosaurus has an unusual defense. 